Hi, my name is Nicholas Babaya for the Center for Risk Analysis. What is South Africa's position on the African continent? While the South African economy continues to grow very slowly, Sub-Saharan Africa is now one of the highest economic growth areas in the entire world. And so what will the position of South Africa be on the continent? Will it remain a strong power with great economic influence, or will it slip into the third largest economy after slipping from first to second behind Nigeria? In this clip from a recent interactive webinar, Dr. Franz Cronier explains a few possible futures for the continent. Have a look. South Africa slips to third, yeah, yeah maybe fourth, fifth, sixth at the moment. Um, there's a thing happening for much of the useful history. What happened, let's take the last hundred years, what happened on the southern tip of Africa was hugely influential in what happened across the continent projection of power, force, influence. I think that balance is beginning to change. I think it has changed. Uh, many firms we uh, advise uh, come back uh, from, you know, ventures into the interior to say how well received they were, uh, how enlightened intellectual property rights policy was, for example, comparison to some of the dangerous things that are being done in South Africa today. Africa's macro trends are also really good. If you take that 30,000 foot view and you look down on it, the, the number of dollars of trade is now greater than the number of dollars of aid entering the continent. That's a milestone, it's very important. The number of megawatts of electricity of an admittedly low base being added to the continent is, is hugely impressive. The number of years that a child spends in formal education is just way off the levels of 20 or 30 years ago. The concentration of urban Africans who can spend a few dollars a day in cities where you can sell them stuff is, is if you run just the maths on that over 40 years, Africa becomes a hugely interesting place just as a consumption uh, 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 a, a sort of territory, place to sell uh, fast moving consumer goods and uh, fixed goods and the like. And I haven't even said resources or security questions or anything of that nature. Africa is also in a position where, if, and, and some countries do it better than others, South Africa is not doing it terribly well, that, that as, as China and the West compete and as Eastern influence swings across the world and through Belt and Road and these amazing strategic Chinese ventures, Africa is right in the middle of that conflict. If, as I tell my, my American friends who are sometimes a bit naive, if you park a battleship off the coast of Angola, the next stop is New York. You're, you're right there. You're just going to sail a bit across the sea. Africa is really well positioned to play West off against East and extract generous benefits from both sides. And in, in the longer term view, I'm, I remain very bullish on Africa. I've been for 15 years since I've been doing this stuff. Um, South Africa, in fact, is now an anchor on Africa's overall economic performance. If you, strip, um, if you strip South Africa out of Southern Africa's GDP and you just do the growth rate, depending on whether you believe Chinese numbers, Southern Africa might now be the fastest growing region in the world and is therefore a pretty good place to be. If you enjoy our content, please give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. To take part in the CRA's exclusive 30-day free trial, please follow the link in the description. Until next time.